Caribbean, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, National Junior Footballer Jadeen Carr shot dead in St. Thomas on her way to training. Please remember to subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The Jamaica Football Federation, JFF, has expressed anger and sadness at the shooting death of national junior footballer Jadine Carr. Carr was among two persons shot dead by gunmen along the Lloydsville Main Road in Yalos, St. Thomas, on Friday afternoon. She was reportedly on her way to football training at the time of the incident. The JFF said Carr was a member of the Jamaica Under-15 team that travelled to China to participate in the Chinese Football Development Exchange Program in 2018. She was called to the Under-17 National Training Squad, played Under-15 football for St. Thomas, and was a member of the Yellow Side team, which participated in the aborted Issa Schoolgirl competition in 2020. Her most recent games were played with the Proven Girls Academy in the Issa Construction 2022 Rhinos Cup, the JFF said in a release. I call upon Jamaicans to stand up to this bulging monster called crime and fight against what now seems to be a passive acceptance of it, said Michael Ricketts, president of the JFF. We are losing so many young and industrious people to gun violence. Jadine did everything right and was making big strides to brighten her future when her life was snuffed out. Profound condolences to her family, friends, teammates and the St. Thomas Football Association. Please stay strong in these challenging times, Rickett said. Carr, from Artiste District in Yalos, was killed along with Andrew Mullings, a 21-year-old taxi driver from Newlands District, also in Yalos. <coughs> it is reported that about 4.45 p.m., Mullings was driving his blue 2003 Toyota Corolla along the main road with Carr in the passenger seat and two unidentified males in the back seat. The police say explosions were heard and the vehicle got out of control and crashed into a great Toyota Corolla, then hit a utility pole and ended up in a gully. Two men alighted from the vehicle and the loud explosions were heard again and they escaped on foot in the area. Mullings, the police said, was taken to the Princess Margaret Hospital by citizens where he was pronounced dead. The former national player was taken to the Kingston Public Hospital by family members where she was pronounced dead. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.